Guys, welcome to our studio. I'm here with Jeffrey Allen. Jeffrey, how are you? <laughs> Great. It's so good to have you. Yeah, it's so nice to be here. So, firstly, what you did this past weekend at our Mind Valley event here in San Diego was incredible. You totally rocked the house. Ah, thank you. And so many people came up to me, especially, oddly enough, engineers saying they loved Jeffrey because, as you're soon going to learn, Jeffrey is a former yeah. engineer. Jeffrey, how did you feel about your performance today? Oh, it was so fun because uh, at this conference there were so many people and I was watching the energy before I got on stage, the other speakers were talking, and then really watching their shift and wow, people just really moved and they really received the message that we were there to give. So, so, so tell me what's going on there. You can see the energy in the room you can, or do you sense it? Oh, I see it, yeah. So before I get on stage, I stand there right next to the stage and I watch and just look at uh, where is everybody and what's happening with them in this moment so that I can speak directly to the people. And, and what is it? Do you sense the energy or do you visually mm -hmm. see it like auras around this massive audience? Okay, yeah, so it's both. So the uh, first thing I, I saw was uh, kind of the groupings, like over here there's a group of people with this kind of color of energy and this kind of feeling of energy. So it's both a visual thing and just a knowing of what does that mean? Not, not from a formula perspective, but what does it mean for each person in each group? Wow, and then you're able to direct your speech by understanding the energy patterns within the room. Yes. Okay, yes, that, that is yeah, so intriguing. Yeah. Now, what are we going to be talking about? What are you going to be teaching mm -hmm. our audience? We have about mm -hmm. tens of thousands of people uh -huh. tuning in for this webinar. Yeah, so today I want to give you a little taste about uh, what energy work is for and uh, how you can use it. But I don't want to just teach you kind of about it. I want you to try it for yourself. Because what I've learned about energy work is that if you hear somebody talk about it, it's just kind of an interesting idea. But if you do it yourself and you feel it, then you're like, wow, this is real. This is something I can use. And, and that's exactly the experience I want right. to give you. And, and, and that's what's really cool about this webinar. So guys, please don't be watching this while you're driving a car or operating heavy machinery like a chainsaw, yeah. because Jeffrey's actually going to not just be teaching you, but having you directly practice energy work right yeah. in your living room or in front of your TV as you're watching this. Yeah. Now, before we get started, Jeffrey, mm -hmm. We were walking the beach earlier today mm -hmm. in beautiful La Jolla, San Diego, and you shared with me a bit of your background. Mm -hmm. I want to share that conversation with you because this is a heck of a story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure, Vishen. So, uh, you know, I started out actually as an engineer, so I spent 15 years in an engineering career, and it was, it was fun and engaging. I was using my mind a lot, but the whole time that that was happening, there was like another side of me, which was this spiritual part, this energy part, where I was studying energy work and learning and doing a little healing on the side. And uh, there came a point where I felt this division in me, and I know a lot of people are, are there right now, a lot of people are listening are probably there right now, where you're doing something really actively that you enjoy, but there's something else that you love or something that you're passionate about that you want to get to next. And I didn't know how to, how to get there, even though I knew what it was, what I want to do with energy work, I didn't know how do I get out of this like um, corporate world that I'm in because I've got a house and bills and I'm making money and I'm, I'm in the success trap, basically. And uh, so what I did was exactly what I'm going to teach today is I, what I did was I looked at the energy part. So instead of trying to figure out the details of what are the actions I need to take to get there, because I know that's always part two is the action step, I looked at the energy part. So I looked at, okay, how do I get really clear on where I want to go and exactly what it's going to look like in the future? And then how do I look at, what is it in me? What are my fears, like I mentioned, that I can move out? Are there any other energy blocks that are there? How do I get all this stuff out of the way so when the opportunities come, I can step right in really easily? And, uh, and once I did that, it was, uh, it was just like magic. So uh, I was in my, in my job, and my boss came and said, all right, we want to give you a little bonus, uh, but we can't give you money. Is there anything else you want? And I get this little message that said, okay, take a week vacation, go to Europe, and then ask them for the whole month of May off. I said, come on, they're never gonna buy that, right? And so, but I, I just follow my guidance. That's the hardest thing about guidance is actually following it. And okay, but, but, but mm -hmm. that's fascinating. Mm -hmm. Are you hearing that? Is that clear audience? Are you sensing it? Are you seeing it? How do you get a message that specific? <laughs> right, yeah. So for me, um, clear audience is my strongest ability. So just hearing it. So it's a conversation uh, that I get very clearly. And it's no different from talking to you or talking to anybody else. Okay, so, so yeah. just a quick explainer mm -hmm. for the audience, okay? Clear audience is when you have the intuitive impulse mm -hmm. of hearing the message. Clairvoyance is when you see the message. Yeah. Clairsentience is when you feel yes. the, 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 the message through mm -hmm. sensation or touch. Mm -hmm. People have different strengths uh, in terms of their 
psychic or their intuitive ability, depending on what sense is strongest for them. So yes, Jeff, yes. Jeffrey, it's clairaudience. Please continue. Yeah, and so, so I get this message. Uh, it just comes in very clearly. And so I always just follow it, right? So, so I went ahead and asked my boss and said, okay, I need a week off you know, right now to go to Europe and visit my buddy. And, and I want the whole month of May off paid. And I'm just thinking, no way, right? And she says, yes. And so then I go on this trip to Europe. And while I'm there, I have no idea what I'm going to do in May, why I need a month off. I'm in Europe, I bump into another friend, and she says, oh, I'm, I'm down in Africa and I'm teaching. I have this school, this healing school, and I don't know what to teach him next because I'm kind of at the end of you know, my, my information. What do you think about coming and teaching my students? I need somebody in May for the entire month to cover while I'm gone and teach at my school. And I was like, well, it turns out I have the entire month of May off. Fantastic. <laughs> and so, so I went to Africa and I didn't tell anybody I was an engineer. They just knew I was their teacher's teacher. And I taught energy work and healing for an entire month. And it was so exciting because what I learned was uh, I went in thinking that I was an engineer kind of pretending to be an energy healer and teacher. And when I left, I realized, wow, I'm an energy healer and teacher pretending to be an engineer. Wow. And it totally shifted me because I could see, uh, you know, I got a taste that future. And so I went home and just the next synchronicity, the next one just all lined up. Uh, again, I heard this, this voice tell me it's time to sell your house. I was like, I can't sell my house. Where am I going to live? What am I going to do? And they're like, no, put your house in the market. All right, I don't want to do it, but I'm just going to do it. So I listed it really high thinking it wouldn't sell. Uh, about a week later, uh, I went down to Sedona for the first time and just driving into town, before I even got in town, I was like, wow, I'm supposed to move here. And this was more of a feeling, not a hearing. Like, I don't know why I'm feeling this, but I'm supposed to move to Sedona. This is crazy. By the, uh, the second day there in the morning, I'm doing a little yoga and meditating, and uh, I'm, I'm asking the city just kind of, why, why am I being called here? What's going on? This seems crazy. And this voice is so clear. It just said, come here and be healed. And I said, okay, I'm, I'm in, you know, because getting healed sounds like the best thing ever. And I, I did a little bit of energy work on the house, right? Because we had been on the market for a week. And within an hour of doing that energy work, of clearing kind of the blocks and just giving it, you know, giving up and saying, I'm okay letting it go, I got a full price offer on my house. Wow. By lunch, we were under contract. So I just, I just went home with this whole new life ready for me. And then I had to go in and tell my boss, like, oh, uh, you know, can I work from home full time? And by the way, a home is going to be in Sedona. And, uh, and she's, she's like, ah, okay, well, we, you know, we love you. We want you to do whatever your heart desires, so go for it. So that, I, that, that's an amazing mm -hmm. series of coincidences that led to where you are today. Yes. I want to mm -hmm. ask a question, because I bet many mm -hmm. of you watching mm -hmm. are, are maybe thinking the same thing. Mm -hmm. How do we spot this? When is our message going to come? What would you say to people who are wondering? Right, yeah. So uh, what's interesting is that most people are receiving a lot of information about their intuition already. So you're probably using your intuition much more than you know, but you're, you're discounting it and not listening, right? So most of us have, uh, you know, our, it's kind of like we have two minds, right? We have our spirit mind, our intuition mind that's talking to us, and then we have our material mind that's telling us, like, well, you got to pay the bills, and that's gonna, not going to make sense, and people are going to think you're crazy. You know, I had a lot of people thinking I was crazy. And uh, so the, the trick is to kind of quiet this one down, and just let all those fears and all the noise kind of get a little bit quieter, a little bit quieter, and then notice that, oh yeah, I do, I do have passion, I do have a desire, I do have some ideas, I'm just, I've just been afraid to admit them and really look at them. And of course, there, there's a whole practice, there's a whole process of slowly quieting your mind. You don't just say quiet, and your mind quiets, right? right. And that is what you teach in your programs, like duality on Mind Valley. It's a, it's, it's a process, just like training your body for exercise, you're training your energy body to be healthier so that you get these downloads yes. faster. Yeah. But you go beyond that. You're not just mm -hmm. listening. It's not just intuition. You're actually manipulating energy in the world. Mm -hmm. And that is one of the most unique things about you. That is why when I first met you, I knew we had to bring you to Mind Valley. Before we begin with Jeffrey Allen, I just want to share with you what many Mind Valley students have said about Jeffrey's duality program. Pia Graf found that her relationships across her life started elevating. Kim Brantley said she manifested the most amazing business coach on the planet. Katisha from Calcutta, India said, not a single teacher has taught me what Jeffrey showed us all. Now Jane has a really amazing story. She had a cauliflower shaped melanoma under her breast, the size of a thumbnail. She applied techniques from Qigong and duality 
on that area, and she had the melanoma vanish completely within two weeks. Merritt Watson said, My relationships have changed. What was a good life has become an excellent life. Yana found that the program helped to find solutions much faster and better for herself, her work, her family. And this is one of the most interesting things about duality. It's not the kind of program that suddenly fixes one area of your life. What you find is as you start applying these tools across all these different dimensions of your life, and Jeffrey takes you through it, you see all areas of your life start elevating because you're no longer functioning with just the physical world. You're bringing in your energy body, your consciousness, your spirit and spirituality into your day-to-day -day life. So Jeffrey, as we get into our training, I want to ask you a question. It seems that your way of looking at the world is completely different, right? And this has, has um, helped you immensely. Mm -hmm. Mind Valley is all about teaching the world the things that our education forgot to teach us. Because our education, as you know, hasn't really evolved much in the last 100 years. We, it mm -hmm. develops people who are incomplete in terms of their human capacity. Mm -hmm. What is that one thing? If you could pinpoint it, what is that one thing that you think we, as human beings, mm -hmm. have failed to understand about the world and is holding us back? Oh, you bet. If only the world can know the truth, you've actually been lied to about how the world works because you've been taught that it's all the material world, it's all physical, but there's an entire world of energy that's actually more powerful and more important in getting to where you want to go. Because if there's any problem that you're having, whether it's your health, or your relationships, or your career, the reason why you're not getting there is not because you're not taking the physical world steps, it's because you don't know how to use the energy. You don't know how to see the energy and adjust the energy and how to make the room so that when you get to your physical steps, things happen easily and flow really smoothly. And I say this because I've been working the world of energy for 20 years, so when I watch people and how they're moving in the world, I look at the energy that's happening around them too. And I wish you could see what I see, because if you could see that, you would know that uh, as you're moving forward and you're, you're taking that action, there's just a little bit of energy right here that you need to move. That If you can move that idea out of that concept of that energy, suddenly you would surge forward into what you want to do. Uh, when you go into a relationship and you're excited about connecting with the person, oftentimes there's just a little bit right here that's in the way of you actually making that beautiful connection that's available for you. So if you find that you're hitting that over and over where you, you know there's potential that you're not coming into, that's why. It's because you don't know how to work with energy. And that's why I love teaching about energy, because it's, it's the one thing that I know that applies all the way across the board. No matter what you're trying to change, if you learn to work with energy, it gets so much easier, so much more fun, and it just feels like, wow, I'm, I'm really alive. I'm not struggling and trying. I'm actually just living and enjoying and flowing. It's so fun. Which is what I want you to talk about next with our audience. Mm -hmm. It seems like mm -hmm. in human conditioning right now, we grow up to understand that we have a physical body, yeah. and that is it. Yeah. But you believe that we are surrounded by energy and that we are as much energetic beings. Mm -hmm. And everything that we do from our relationships to our careers to setting goals, we need to start with manipulating energy. Please share that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so um, it's, it's definitely true. There's this material world that's very obvious that we can touch and feel and see and everything. And we're used to working in that world. But just as strong, actually a little bit stronger, is this whole world of the unseen and the energy. And I can give you a concrete example that, that people can relate to. So uh, if you think about when you're creating something new and you're manifesting something in the world, uh, first thing you do is you get this idea or this little spark or inspiration. And then that kind of starts to develop into like a, a deeper idea and like plans maybe and just dreams about what it's going to be like. And then you start to talk about it with your friends and you're like vocalizing and maybe writing and starting to flush out the idea, eventually you get to your heart and you're, you're just getting this passion like, wow, I got to go do this thing. I'm excited and I want to you know, go change the world with this new idea. So far, you haven't done anything in the physical world, right? So the first half of manifesting is energy. Mm -hmm. right. that's, this, that's all the energy world. And with the tools I'm going to teach you today, you can learn how to uh, go in and fine tune that. So it's not just a little accident or a background thing that you don't know how to do. It's something you can do consciously. You can go in and get that clear intention and move the energy blocks out for yourself and get real clear guidance on, like, of the three paths I'm thinking about, 
which is the one that I should really go down to get the, to where I want to go? Right, and, and I, want, I want people to understand that this is real. Like, science is now able to photograph this. Through approaches like Curlian photography, mm -hmm. we can see that all life is surrounded by energy. Mm -hmm. And this energy, this energy, we don't fully understand how it works, mm -hmm. but we know that there is something there. And just as a practical example, I'm a speaker, right? Mm -hmm. And I've become a far more effective speaker when I've learned these energy tools from mm -hmm. Jeffrey. As you saw earlier at the start of this class, when I get on stage, I'm getting the entire audience, 800 people, to apply a Jeffrey Allen technique to connect with other people in the room mm -hmm. in a sense of compassion, and for, and for me to connect with the audience with the energetic intention that the best information for their benefit mm -hmm. is going to be delivered, and they have the energetic intention that they are going to compassionately connect with fellow kindred spirits mm -hmm. and form a community and have friendships mm -hmm. and great insights developing in the room. And that seems to completely change mm -hmm. the actual event. Now, if you think that sounds hokey, I just want to share this. I was speaking to one of America's great minds in education. Mm -hmm. His name is Phil Moore. He started the Upland School in Michigan. And his schools are known for creating gifted children. And I asked Phil, how do you do that? Mm -hmm. And he says, well, it's, about, it's not about the school. It's not about the building. It's not about mm -hmm. the curriculum. It's about the container. And I said, well, what do you mean? Mm -hmm. What do you mean by container? And Phil says, the container is when two students are interacting or when a teacher and student is interacting, it's the energy in between yeah. them. We work to make sure that that energy is healthy. Mm -hmm. And, and so there's something really powerful here that we, are not, that we have not yet bought into mm -hmm. in our traditional world, but that you guys mm -hmm. have the potential to grasp, and this could make all the difference. Jeffrey, let's get on with the class. Yeah, sounds good. So that's, that's perfect condition. And um, the first thing I want to I teach today about energy work is that it's a, it's a little bit different than you're used to thinking about, right? So because we're conditioned to this physical world, we're used to thinking about objects and uh, and how to move them around and manipulate them. And, and we're used to thinking kind of in finite and scarce terms too. Because when you think about, uh, if you think about objects, like let's take a, maybe there's a CD that you want to buy, right? So I've, I've, got, so I've got 10 CDs and I, I give two of them to Vision. Now I've just got eight, right? So every time, every time somebody takes something, there's one less in the pile that's there. That's the object world. And that's the way we're used to thinking about money or bodies or relationships, you know, pretty much everything. But it turns out that that's only one way to think about the world. If you look at the energy behind things, energy is based on a completely different principle of accounting. Not the, not the scarcity principle, but this abundance principle. So, and it, we have some cool technology examples now. So now when you get a song, you don't buy a CD, you, down, you download an MP3. And there isn't one less when you download it, right? So it's not like there were 10 copies and now you have one and there's nine left. There's actually one more. Every time somebody takes something, there's one more. Instead of every time you take something, there's one less. So that's the difference between energy accounting and physical world accounting. So I want to tell you that because you need to shift your mindset a little bit and start to think like that today when we're doing the exercises so that you know that um, everything's going up. Because sometimes with the energy, people get a little bit worried about if I take too much energy, am I taking away from other people? Or if I'm manipulating the world in the way that I want it to go, Am I harming people or doing, you know, doing bad things? Is it a bad thing to do energy work? And it's definitely not because all you're doing is adding. You're never taking away or subtracting or, or uh, you know, taking away from somebody else's flow. So it's, it's very different, really fun. Beautifully said, Jeffrey. Wow. I know at this point you're waiting to get started with the training. We're going to go straight into the first exercise. So the first exercise I want to do with you is teaching you how to start to calm your mind. Because like I said, if, you're, if your mind is really strong, oftentimes that gets in the way of your intuition. And uh, a lot of times people think that uh, ah, maybe I can't do this intuition thing or maybe I can't feel energy or I can't tune in. But I guarantee that that's not true. If you quiet your mind, you will be able to sense that inner voice and you'll be able to get that information, that guidance that's, uh, that's in there for you. Because Everybody's intuitive, everybody's a healer, everybody's a medium. It's just a normal part of being human. And so it's inside you too. So let's take a look. So what I want you to do right now is just get comfortable wherever you are. 
And I want you to uh, close your eyes. And first I want you to notice where you are. So feel your body. You might feel your feet on the floor. Feel yourself in your chair. And give yourself a deep breath. And as you breathe, just settle into that feeling that I'm right here, I'm right now, and I'm in my body. Okay, very good. And now I want you to imagine that you can feel your hips and that you're gonna just connect yourself from your hips from the base of your spine all the way into the earth. So it might feel a little bit funny at first, but just imagine you're extending down. You can feel like a tree trunk. Some people like it to feel like a waterfall. Or if you're like me, it's just a beam of energy connecting you all the way deeply into the earth. Very good. Now, as that happens, notice how you're changing. You're getting a little more present. And imagine that you're sitting right behind your eyes. So you're in the center of your head. You're looking out. You can see right through your eyes. But of course, they're closed. And just notice how peaceful it is inside your head. So all that noise of the world is not in your head. And just take a moment to enjoy that space. And now I want you to notice, are there any thoughts that are tugging at you? Maybe something you have to do or something you're worried about. And I want you to imagine that those thoughts are just floating by you instead of getting stuck. So just kind of let the thought come up, let it float by, kind of smile at it, maybe give it a little wave, and just let it float on by. Yeah, very good. And notice that here in the center of your head, this peaceful space is just you. No other people, Nobody needs anything from you. This space is just for you. Very good. And in this clear space, in this clear feeling, I want you to notice one drive that's inside you, one thing that you're passionate about, you're excited to create some dream that you have of being a little bigger than you are today. This might be a bigger relationship for you, playing bigger in the world, helping more people. Just let it come naturally. Very good. And then just ask yourself very simply, is this idea something original for you? Or is it something that you were told you were supposed to do? We probably got a little bit of both. So that part you were told to do, just let it float away, just like your thoughts. You're just refining and clearing a little bit. And just keep the part that's just for you. Very good, now take a deep breath. Notice that clarity of intention. And it's very important, notice how does it feel in your body? Are you smiling? Are you feeling energized? Sometimes that's enough, just the feeling rather than the, the clear information. Either way is fine. Okay, and go ahead and open your eyes. All right, and so 
now you should be feeling a little bit more present than before. So you should feel like you're right here with me and that you're present in your body and that the thing that you want is actually the thing for you. And this is important because a lot of times we're just creating what other people want us to create or the thing that we think will make people like us or help us in some way. But if you just go inside with this simple exercise, you get this really clear feeling of, oh, wow, this is my thing. This is what I want to do in the world. That was a really interesting experience for me. I was doing the exercise with you guys and I got this download. It was this really interesting idea um, for Mind Valley that I cannot wait to share with my team. But what was interesting was it doesn't exist. It was something completely new. Nice. Um, and, and if you got an idea, please write it down. Write it down before you lose it. Write it down in your notebook. Even if it doesn't seem to make sense right now, mm -hmm. just write it down. Maybe when you reflect on it tomorrow, it might start making sense. Thank you. That was some really powerful oh, good, stuff. Great. So what was going on there? Yeah, so what's happening there is uh, if, you, if you look at the energy behind how people create, uh, most of the time we're creating from our, our material mind. We're creating from the part of us that uh, knows what we're supposed to do, what's going to be successful, what we saw on TV, <laughs> what our parents did, what we were taught in school. Yeah, basically, all the, all the stuff we're, we think is correct and we think is successful. But, like I said, inside you, you have all that other information about what you really want to do, what's really inspiring, what's really fun. And you can just use that sense of excitement and enthusiasm when you get quiet. If you're tuning into that, you'll notice like, wow, I feel good, I feel excited, just like you did, Vision, where you're like, wow, I had this cool insight. And that's when you know, okay, that's for you, that's your piece. If it feels like, I can do it, I'm gonna try really hard, and I'm just gonna work at it, and I can get there, that's probably not you, right? Because the stuff that you're great at, that's your biggest passion and dream, comes naturally to you. It's actually very easy and fun and joyful. And so I want you to focus on those pieces. And we're going to get, do a little exercise in a minute on helping you get to that vision or that goal with some specific details now, too. Nice. I can't mm -hmm. wait. And that's, and that's our second exercise, which I believe you call activating your creative energy. Yes, yes. Let's get started. Okay. So, uh, so the first thing we want to do to move into the second exercise is I want you to start to really feel energy. So, so far when I talk about energy, it might feel like just kind of, uh, you know, intangible or kind of woo-woo concepts. Uh, but for me, energy is not that way at all. Energy is just as tangible as the material world. And so I want to give you that experience right now where you're feeling energy for yourself so you know, wow, this is real, I can do it, and energy works for me. Okay, so, so let's do it. So for this exercise, you can actually do it with your eyes open. And what you're going to do first is kind of put your palms out like this. And... I want you to just stretch your hands open a little bit, kind of like this with your palms. And what you're doing with your physical body is you're actually opening your hand chakras a little bit. Chakras are just energy centers, nothing magical there. Okay, good. And now I want you to imagine that there is a little bit of light coming in the top of your head. And let's, let's have you just start to put your hands facing each other like this, because I can see that a lot of you are feeling something already. And you want to imagine that there's a little ball of energy filling up between your hands. And the reason I say imagine is not that it's not real. I say imagine because imagine means do something that you aren't sure is true or that maybe you believe might not be true. So your imagination lets you get over that stuck part of your mind. And so you might move your hands a little closer together, a little further apart, and just feel that ball building. And now very gently, just remember that peaceful place in your head. And you're going to notice some light coming in from the top of your head, as if the sun is kind of shining down on you. And it's going to flow down through your head, out your shoulders, down your arms, and into your hands just like you're turning on that faucet of energy. And as you do that, notice how that changes that ball of energy. Okay, good. So hopefully you're feeling a little something now. And what's fun about this exercise is that, you know, I've taught this all over the world, and people always feel the same things. So when somebody asks, what does energy feel like? I just say, well, 
I'll just have you feel it and you tell me. And no matter where I am in the world, when I ask, okay, what did you feel? People say, oh, I'm feeling a little bit of pressure. Like, Vishen, what, what do you feel with this? It feels kind of bouncy. A little like, bouncy, like it, like yeah. it's elastic, like you can compress it and then it pushes back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually how I feel it too. So for me, it's more of a, a feeling, like a, something I'm, there's pressure there, right? Uh, a lot of people also feel heat. So you might feel a little bit of heat in your palms. You might feel a little tingling. In Japanese, we call that biki biki. Biki biki. <laughs> yeah. So heat, tingling, pressure are the big things, okay? And so right now, I want you to notice that the more you think about it, the more it disappears. Like when I told you what it's supposed to feel like and you wondered, am I doing it right? Like all of a sudden it kind of went away, right? So I want you to go back to just that imagination place of curiosity and, and joy and like, wow, what if I had this superpower and I could build this ball of energy between my hands? And then if you smile, you'll notice, whoa, the energy really gets bigger. Smiling is one of the key tricks to energy work. Because when you smile, your energy opens up automatically. All right, good. So what we keep going, you can keep playing with your energy. I'm going to move on and teach you some more things. But we're going to use this energy next in a way that will help you uh, clear any blocks in your body. But I wanted you to have this strong energy force first so that you could uh, get it to move more easily. So hopefully you felt that as strongly as I'm feeling it. And uh, this is your kind of just first step in feeling energy. There's so many ways to feel energy, but this is the one I can give you in like two minutes. Yeah. And, and now what do we do with this? Okay. So now that you have this energy, I want you to let us move right into the third exercise. I want you to remember that vision that you had. Maybe close your eyes for a moment. And remember that idea, that passion, that thing you had that you're excited about. And then just ask yourself one simple question. What is my biggest worry or fear about getting to that vision? So for me, if my, if my biggest dream right now is finding a new relationship, then my fear might be, I find that person and they don't like me. Or nobody would like me with this particular haircut. <laughs> Whatever it is for you. And you got to be a little amused. You know, your fears and worries are kind of serious, so keep smiling. And then ask yourself, where is that fear? Where is that worry in your body? And the first answer is usually right. It's kind of a funny question. But where is that worry? Where is that fear in your body? So for me right now, I feel there's actually a little bit of energy in my clavicle. Okay. You might feel it in your lower body, in your in a chakra, if you know where the chakras are. And then without knowing anything else, I want you to just take that ball of energy between your hands, and I want you to move your hands and start to move that ball of energy into that area where that biggest worry and biggest fear is. And the beauty of energy work is that you don't actually have to know what you're doing because the energy knows and your spirit knows. And as you direct that energy into that place, feel what happens. It starts to open, starts to lighten. I'm noticing a little like shooting energy, like whoosh, whoosh, kind of shooting out. And let that energy ball go all the way in, take out any worry, any fear, and just melt it away. Good. And now remember that feeling you had, that happiness, that enthusiasm, that passion that you had for this new idea. And notice that that enthusiasm is starting to fill in all that area where there was a little block before. So you're going to replace your biggest worry and fear with your biggest passion, your biggest dream. Very good. All right, you can just kind of relax. Good. Now, energy work really is that simple. 
I can teach you many more detailed ways to go in and change your energy, but this simple way is enough to get you past almost any energy block that's in your way. So I just wanted to give you that because it's, it's just such an easy and powerful technique. So what were you guys feeling as you did that? I, I know for me, um, naturally, every time you're on set and you have light shining on you and you have like three cameras pointing on, on yeah. you and you know several thousand people are going to watch this and I'm in the presence of you and I'm trying to yeah. make sure that I'm asking the right questions and everything was going smoothly. There's always a little buildup of stress, mm -hmm. right? That, that's mm -hmm. inevitable, uh, even though I've done this like hundreds of times. But I find that when I did that, mm -hmm. all of a sudden I felt that stress, that, that tension just melt away. Mm -hmm. And I suddenly felt this like bubbling up of joy. Mm -hmm. uh, what was it for you guys? Write that down yeah. and remember that. Because one of the things I remember mm -hmm. learning from, from other energy workers mm -hmm. is that when we write down our success, yes. it helps that success replicate the next time we do it. Yeah. Jeffrey, that was really beautiful. Could you just recap step one, mm -hmm. two, and three? Because I loved how each of that flowed into the mm -hmm. other. And how would, say, our audience mm -hmm. use this um, tomorrow okay, for yeah. another yeah. Um, situation that they might have? Right. Yeah, so the first step is that you need to get clarity. Right? You need to remember that you are probably making your decisions the way that you were taught to make them, which is to make them solely with your material mind and uh, in the material world. And so you want to remember that and say, okay, I need to quiet that down a little bit, that's step one, and then just let my intuition give it some space to speak to me. A big part of that is clearing out everybody else's messages. So we did that in the first exercise. If somebody else told you to do this, let that little part go, just kind of let it float by. And uh, you'll find that that's what brings in the clarity. Your intuition is not lost. Like people always tell me, oh, I don't have intuition or I can't turn in or I don't feel things. And I say, no, it's, that's not true at all. You just have too much noise around you. You're getting your intuition, but you're also getting a whole bunch of other stuff that's just uh, noise and not important. So you don't have to turn your intuition up. You just have to turn down the noise. So that's step one. Step two is you want to get a little bit of energy flowing because we're not used to making energy flow. Mm -hmm. Easiest way to do that is just make that little ball of energy between your hands because it's tangible, you can feel it, it's kind of fun. And once that energy is built up, you say, okay, what am I going to do with it? And this third step is it's a, a little bit tricky so that you may have missed the little key element there. The key element, if you're doing this energy work, is noticing where is the thing stuck, not what is stuck, right? I didn't ask you to go into details of why is it a problem, why can't you do it, and what's wrong with you, and what's wrong with the world. Like, I didn't ask you that because that's all over here in the mind. And mostly, that's all nonsense, right? What I asked you is, where is it stuck, okay? And it, so for you, if you felt it here, then you take the energy and you just move it into that place where it's stuck. And without having to even know why or how it's going to happen, the energy will move out that stuck energy, move out that fear, move out that worry. And then you let that enthusiasm and passion start to fill in its place. Uh, it really is that simple. So those are the three steps. You want to uh, calm your mind, build some energy, and then put that energy in the place where you feel the block. That's fantastic, Jeffrey. And at this point, I want to let you guys know that for many of you who are interested in going really deep in this, because you're just learning a couple of yeah. basic tools right now, and these are fantastic because you can apply them immediately, mm -hmm. but there's so much deeper you can go. Mm -hmm. And Jeffrey has a program in Mind Valley called Duality. It's one of our highest rated programs on Mind Valley. Last year, Duality was one of our top three most loved programs by our customers. And Duality is all about understanding that we live in a dual world. We live in a world that's physical, but there's also a whole energetic, spiritual world. But our education doesn't teach us how to, how to use these tools. And just like I spoke about, and I, sh and I showed you that clip of me getting on stage as a speaker, and I've been speaking for a decade, but when I learned how to apply Jeffrey's energetic tools to the audience, my ability to speak, to, to, to connect with a crowd, it just up-leveled. And the same thing applies to your marriage, to your business, to how fast your dreams manifest, to your body, to your health, to your aging. When you learn to manipulate the energy around you, so many remarkable things happen. I mean, imagine living life with one hand tied behind your back, right, and only using one hand. That's sort of how we live life right now. We have this additional sense, this additional tool, but our society isn't teaching us to use it. Duality is about awakening that in you. And uh, before we get to exercise number four, um, just really quickly, I want Jeffrey to tell you about duality mm -hmm. so you guys who want to enroll in it yeah. might know if, if it's the right decision for you. 
And then we'll continue with exercise number four. Jeffrey, tell us about duality and why this program is so popular with your students. Oh, you bet. So uh, duality is really fun. So what happened with uh, the duality training is I've, I've been teaching energy work for, uh, well, now it's almost 20 years. And the, uh, all the things I've learned about how to manipulate energy and to feel energy and to change energy and to communicate with people and to uh, boost my own health and all the things you can do with energy. Uh, before I came to Mind Valley, most of that was kind of esoteric, right? So mostly I was, I was in it for spiritual reasons. I wanted to grow spiritually and I wanted to learn about the world and find out, you know, kind of what's peek behind the curtain and see like what's really happening in the world. Like I was excited that engineer in me wanted to, you know, cheat a little bit, right? right. I, wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to look and say, what can I do that other people aren't doing that's gonna give me some advantage? And uh, so for me, it was all personal reasons. But when I made duality with Mind Valley, the challenge that Mind Valley brought to me was, how do you make this real in the real world? I thought, wow, I never thought about that. And I started looking at, how would I take all these techniques, all these energy techniques, and make them something that everybody can use, something you can use in your daily life? What are the actual tangible benefits that you can get out of it? And that's what I love about duality, is it's, it's real and it, and it applies to your daily life. And in the program, we go through, I take all that material from 20 years of teaching and research and just put it all in. I just pack it full of everything I know and go step by step, like, why would you want to do this? How do, you, uh, how do you make it happen? What are the little details of why it's happening? Much more than I can cover in this short you know, training today. And then uh, how do you know, how do you get feedback? So is it working? Is it not working for you? Um, what happens if you uh, apply the technique in a little bit different way? And then I give you lots of practical exercises like uh, how do you do this with a partner? How do you talk to somebody that thinks you're nuts because you're taking this class? Because <laughs> that's going to come up, right? Um, how do you bring this into your workplace in a way that people are excited about it instead of thinking like, right. okay, that guy is kind of uh, getting a little crazy? Because you'll find that people actually love energy work when you take away the scary part, when you take away the woo-woo and you take away the sort of... Uh, mystery part of it and say, this is just real tools that you can use, uh, people get really excited. Awesome. And that's awesome. why I love duality. Is and it's, and it I think you guys real. would love to know more about it, but we want to continue with the class. We'll talk a little bit more about duality and Jeffrey will even share the curriculum of how he designed this program in a bit. What I'd love now is to go into uh, exercise number four, mm -hmm. but I also want to share uh, one thing with you guys as a thank you for watching this masterclass. If any of you guys decide to enroll in duality, you've immediately unlocked a bonus a discount on the program. So right below this video, you'll see information on duality and a special enroll button. And when you click on that button on this page, so don't close this page as a thank you for watching this masterclass and investing the past half hour to 40 minutes with us, you get a special unlock bonus on duality, which means that you get to enroll at a significantly lower price than the normal uh, retail price for this program. So check it out. It's right below this video. So just a quick question, Jeffrey. A lot of people who are watching us today, mm -hmm. uh, they're really excited about ideas that would help them manifest better, mm -hmm. ideas that would create more synchronicity in their life. How does working with energy help with these? Yeah, well, I think working with energy is what creates manifestation, is what creates synchronicity. Uh, and the reason I say that is that uh, if I look at the energy behind what's happening, when you, have, when you have an idea and you start taking action on it and you're moving toward that goal, there's always a little something that's in the way. And actually, you can probably feel this. If there's some place in your life where you keep coming back to the same problem, like every time I get to here, I feel like I can't do it, or every time I get to this part of my relationship, the relationship goes bad, or I'm just about to make that money I wanted to make and then it doesn't quite happen, or and whatever it is for you, whatever that pattern is that you're bumping into, the circumstances are different every time, right? The only thing that's the same is, is you and your energy. And that's why energy work is so important because when you learn to find that particular place like we're gonna do today, the particular place where the energy is stuck and you move it out, all of a sudden you move into that synchronous flow because the universe wants to bring you all the abundance, all the love, all the success, everything that you want. It's not a problem of uh, scarcity. The problem is can you receive it? And all of us have a little bit of insecurity, a little bit of doubt, or a little program we learned from somewhere else that's not quite right. And when you can move that out, you can receive all that abundance that's coming for you. 
So using your energy and learning to work with energy is exactly how you get into synchronicity. And it's how you really turn up what you're manifesting. Because when your energy is clear, it's just, it's unbelievable wow, the amount of things that happen to you. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's next level stuff. Yeah. And I believe you're going to be talking about this in exercise number four. Yeah, definitely. In exercise four, we'll get right into it. Yeah. Well, I'm all energetically fired up. Let's get on to <laughs> exercise number four, Jeffrey. All right, great vision. So for exercise number four, what I want to do is help you take everything you learned so far and put it together in a way that's going to create this amazing synchronicity for you. Synchronicity, manifesting. This is something so many of you guys right. wanted to learn. Yeah. And, uh, and it's, it's much easier than you think. So go ahead and close your eyes. And just find that place inside again that's really peaceful and really quiet where it's just you. And if you want, you can feel a little bit of energy building up between your palms. That's always a good way to get present. And then just settle into a nice, gentle smile. Okay, very good. And now think about that thing that you're passionate about, that thing you want to create and manifest in your life. It can be any area of your life. And then imagine that there's a road out in front of you. And you're kind of walking down that road into your future. And then up ahead, you can see there's a decision to be made. You're going to have to decide, am I, am I turning to the side? Am I going right? Am I going left? And notice if that decision creates any anxiety in you. And if it does, I want you to send a little light to that place where the anxiety is. So for me, my anxiety is kind of in my gut. So I'm going to send a little bit of light into my gut. And just breathe. And then just let yourself come to a, a halt wherever you are on that road. And you're going to move forward just with your imagination. If you walked down that first road, what is it going to feel like to you? So just imagine any people that are there, any scenes. Just visualize yourself on that first path. And you may get some sights, you may get some sounds, or it might just be a feeling for you. Whatever it is, tune into the feeling. Do you feel good? Do you feel free? Does it feel like this is your path? Or is it the path you're supposed to take? Meaning somebody else's idea for you. Okay, and then just rewind again until you're before that choice. And then imagine you're taking the second path. Going down that second path. And just notice, what does it look like? Are there any people with you? What are you doing down this road? And again, just notice, does this feel easy? Does it feel fun? Am I happy? Or is it a path that I think I, I need to do rather than want to do? Very good. And just bring your awareness back again so you're before that choice in the road. And I want you to notice something you didn't notice before. You're going to notice that there is actually a different choice than these two choices you thought you had to make. There's a different answer, a different road. And as you see that new road appear, start to move down that new road. And notice that this one feels a little different than before. Who's with you on this road? And 
what are you doing with your awareness? What are you doing in the world? And then on this path, notice again, does it feel good to you? Does it feel free? Do you have joy? Very good. And now let yourself rewind. So you're before those three paths in front of you. And just very easily decide, which one do I want to take? Do I want to take that first one? Was that exciting? Do I want to take the second one? Did that feel like the way I want to go? Or is this new third path that opened up the one I want to choose? And whichever one it is, let's create some synchronicity for you down that path. So you're going to build that ball of energy between your hands. It can happen just in an instant. And then take that ball of energy and you're going to shine it, send it down that path that you choose. And as that light moves down that path, see it creating the way for you. Clearing any energy, setting the space, lining things up so that all that magic, all that synchronicity can come to you. Very good. Bring your awareness back to your body and smile and know that you've just changed your future. Regardless of which way you chose, it's gonna end up moving faster and smoother, almost like life is coming to you. Very good, go ahead and open your eyes. All right. That, that was a really interesting experience. I, I'd love to share it with you guys, mm -hmm. what I experienced, and make sure that you write down what you got as well. There was a goal I was focusing on, and what I got was a third path, which was a different goal. Mm -hmm. Not so different, but different. But the goal I was focusing on, it was a big goal, but I didn't fully believe I could get there. And I had some anxiety it was mm -hmm. creating in me. The goal that was revealed in the third path, I felt it was going to be so easy to get to, so yeah. much easier, and no anxiety. Nice. And maybe that was the point. Yeah, and yeah, you picked it up perfectly, Vishen. So with this exercise, we're doing several things at once, right? So we're, we're getting you ready, you're facing your fears, you're, you're deciding which way to go, you're rehearsing, all these things help. But more importantly, you're opening yourself up to new possibilities. So a lot of times we think we've got to go one of these two ways and we're so focused on it that we miss that there's some beautiful new thing that's waiting for us. There's actually an even easier, better, more natural flow for us. So that's, and, that's what number three is. And, and, yeah. and please write down what came to you. Don't miss out on that opportunity. sure you reflect on this mm -hmm. tomorrow. So with that, we finished the four exercises. Mm -hmm. Now many of you may want to go further, right? How do you speed up the synchronicities? How do you manifest better? How do you be able to tap into intuition? There were so many little things that Jeffrey does in his life which are mind-blowing when you add them up. For example, Jeffrey, we were mm -hmm. secretly filming you before we started this webinar. And did you guys notice what Jeffrey was doing to the room? As we were setting up the cameras, Jeffrey was doing some energy work in the room. Yeah. Um, what were you doing? Oh, so anytime I'm, I'm moving into a new space, I take a moment and I, I set the energy for the space. Because uh, just like if you went into a room and the people before you had 
put the furniture a certain way right. or set the lighting a certain way. It may not be what you want. And you teach this in duality. I do, you yeah. You teach and how so, to do this. So you come in and you do the same thing with the energy. Right. So I was just kind of moving aside like the people that were here before, making it just this beautiful space for all of you to come in and get just really exactly what you need. And, and I bet another thing you teach in duality is when you got on stage this weekend in front of 800 people, at the end of the event, I was asking people, like, mm -hmm. you know, what, what, were, what were some of your highlights? And so many individuals, so many people mm -hmm. mentioned that it was you, that it was you. Mm -hmm. um, what were you doing? Did you do energy work on the entire room? I did, yeah. yeah before, about 10 minutes before I went on, uh -huh. we were at lunch break. I went in and I set the energy for the room. I brought everything up. And I actually did a little bit of healing work. So I looked at where are the blocks in people? What are right. people stuck with? And I started to move that out so that they could really get the information. And interesting, when I was working in this room before, I was connecting to all the people that are going to be watching this. Right. And I was doing the same thing, saying, how do we really connect energetically? So you were energe and, energetically connecting with the people who are going to be watching this video, even yes. in the future. Everyone yeah. who would be brought to this video, Yes. right? Uh, yeah. That's, that's, yeah. that's beautiful. And again, uh, that is something that you learn in the full mm -hmm. duality yeah. program. So Jeffrey, mm -hmm. next I'd love for you to tell us what you're going to teach us in the duality program. Mm -hmm. And again, for those of you who are joining, right down below this video, you'll see a special course enrollment button. It's only on this page. It's a thank you for joining us for this masterclass where you can enroll in duality with a special unlock price only available on this page. If you close this page, um, the price is significantly higher elsewhere on the web. But if you get duality on this page, you get a special unlock price. And look, even if you aren't sure if this is right for you at this time, go ahead and enroll anyway, because you can test out this program, you can go through it. And if at any time you feel this isn't right for you, or you don't feel you have time for it, shoot one email to support at mindvalley.com and I will give you a full unconditional refund. So you don't even have to make up your mind right now. You can try this program and at a special enrollment price directly on this page. So we really want to make it a no brainer for you to click enroll, go check out the entire program on Mindvalley's learning platform. And I know you're going to love it because this is one of the highest rated programs we've ever produced. Jeffrey, take us through duality and tell us what's going to be covered in each segment of the course. Yeah, you bet. So like I said, duality is, you know, I'm taking all, everything I've learned in like 20 years and packing it into one program. So it's a lot. But one of the things that I'm really good at is giving it to you just bit by bit and organizing it. It's actually the, the engineer in me right. organizing it so it feels like you can make it through it. You're just getting bit by bit. And then at the end, you're like, I can't believe how much amazing stuff I learned. So the first place we start is really important. We start with how to be very present in your body. So for you to feel energy work and to listen to your intuition, you actually have to be present in your physical body first. So a lot of the times we're out with our mind thinking about things or daydreaming, and it's very hard to tune in because your intuition is actually inside you. Most people don't know that. So that's the first thing. We learn how to really get present in your body. And it's great, just not just for your intuition, but if you imagine your relationships, when you're really present in your relationship and you can connect with people, it's so much more right. fun and you feel so good. So this, this very first step, uh, well, you'll see big results everywhere in your life. Really fun. And in chapter two, we're going to go into more details on how to get mental clarity and how to really refine the way that you think. Because thinking is really powerful and really important, but you want to start to learn how to think about the things that are helping you and not think about the things that are getting in the way or that are harming you. So go into specific energy techniques for really uh, getting the mind clear and allowing you to focus with, with just crystal clarity on where do I want to spend all my mental resources? Now, you teach some really advanced stuff in, mm -hmm. immediately in Chapter 2. Yeah. For example, the Akashic Records, mm -hmm. that spiritual idea that there is this library of all human knowledge mm -hmm. called the Akashic Records, and people with fine-tuned abilities can tune into it to download information. That's covered in Chapter 2. Yeah, a, a lot of people think that, that that's actually a, a very advanced technique that you need to study for years uh, to get to, but I believe that everybody can do it uh, right now uh, very easily. And so, yeah, we go right in and you start to learn, like, um, if past lives are interesting to you, you can kind of delve into that. If you want to know more about, like, a connection you have with somebody else, you can look at that. Right. If you want to look at what your soul's purpose is the and why you're here on the planet. really, really, really goes deep. Yeah. Yeah. Now, in Chapter 3, you go to healing and creativity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, uh, so Chapter 3, we really want to tune in and, and, just like we did today, get that energy flowing in you because when your energy is flowing, everything starts to happen. Your creativity kicks in, you're able to... 
um, make your body more vibrant and healthy. You're able to attract a relationship more easily. So having more energy to work with is, is the focus in level three. Yeah. And then in chapter four? Mm -hmm. Yeah, in number four, this one's kind of a special one for me because in chapter four, we're working with your personal boundaries and with empathy. And a lot of people tell me this was the most powerful week that they had in the training because if you're empathic, if you're feeling a lot of energy from other people, a lot of times it can be overwhelming. So you might feel like, ah, I just don't want to go out in public or it's just too much or I feel overwhelmed. It's just because you don't know how to use your energy. And people that are empaths, if you learn how to use it in its strongest form, you realize, wow, this is not a def like a, a problem that I have or a defect that I have. This is an ability that I can learn to crank up my energy and influence the world around me. I can like broadcast instead of receiving. So this is one of my favorite ones because for people that are empaths, uh, I don't know where else you're gonna learn this, this right. information. Now, I know at some point you guys are wondering, well, eight chapters, duality is an eight chapter program, and you're wondering if you have time for this. Jeffrey, explain to our community how the program is organized and how much time is needed for each chapter. Okay, good, yeah, so uh, each program is about um, uh, one hour of videos, but it's broken into sections, so that if you can't do the one hour all at once, you can watch and learn the first part, take 10 or 20 minutes, you can take a break, do some of the exercises, and you can watch the next part. Ideally, I like, it, I like to go through it all myself, go for an hour, and then there's a lot of practice for you. So I recommend that people take some time after each thing you learn and really integrate it into your life and practice it because my goal is not to give you a bunch of um, mental knowledge or stuff that you can recite and tell other people. That's just not interesting to me. I wanna give you stuff that you can use, right? I want you to take these tools out and change your life and make your life better and help people around you and improve your impact. And so there's always exercises on how to do that on your own and also how to do that with another individual. I see. Now, do you need a partner for any of these exercises? Uh, you don't need one, but if you have a partner, I always include partner exercises. Perfect, perfect. So, of course, one of the side effects of duality is that when you enroll in the program, you get tools that your entire family can benefit from. Now, one of the ways I want to recommend that you go to the program is that um, sp spend a weekend. So, weekend number one, do mm -hmm. chapter one. It'll take about an hour and then practice it. Practice these mm -hmm. tools in your day-to-day -day living, the the subsequent week. And then in weekend number two, you do chapter two and you add on those tools. And so it's really important that you start practicing these tools and practicing them probably takes a minute or two because these tools are so rapid fire. Yeah, they're very fast. And I give you ways to practice them in your, in your regular life. So you don't have to like take time away from your life to practice. It's like you're at work or you're driving your car or you're talking to your friends and, not only and you that, do it at the same time. Not only that, but when you practice these tools, the things you do in life become so much easier. Yeah. You stop stressing out about making sure that your speech or your presentation to your company is gonna go, needs to go perfectly well because it just does. Yeah. Because you're infusing everything with a different level of energy. Day-to-day -day mm -hmm. stress yeah. starts disappearing. Yeah. Uh, disagreements with, with, mm -hmm. with people in your family or your coworkers. Mm -hmm. uh, problems with your children. It's strange, but when I started applying these in my life, problems started mm -hmm. disappearing. And so even though, yes, it takes some time to learn this program, with the rate in which problems in your life disappear, you seem to have so much more time for the things that truly yeah. matter. And then as a bonus, things that you want start manifesting. Mm -hmm. Synchronicity start happening. It is crazy how fast your life starts accelerating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's amazing. And another funny thing about this training is that you also notice that the things that were problems before that you wanted to kind of shrink away from or didn't want to do, that you actually start seeing them as kind of a cool learning opportunity. Like I'll think, wow, I wonder what would happen if I like sort of grounded that person when they were yelling at me. I wonder if when my, right. you know, I, I did something, I know I made a big mistake in my relationship. And so I'm gonna reach out and just communicate with my partner and just communicate with her or him before we talk in person. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay the groundwork. So suddenly the world is like this big playground. Right. It's not like, oh, I messed up. It's like, oh, yes, let, let me try out my it, new superpowers it is and see so what I can fun, do. It's so fun, Jeffrey. Like I can tell you, like, like yeah. you experiment with an energy tool on someone mm -hmm. or a situation and then you go into that situation or you meet that someone and they behave in a completely different way. Yeah. It's, it's, it's uncanny how this works. Now, chapter five, you go into some deeper stuff on healing. Mm -hmm. You talk about chakras and communication and healing your chakras mm -hmm. and creating resonance and connecting with others. That, that's a lot for one mm -hmm. chapter. What happens there? Yeah, so in chapter five, I wanted to give you a, a really functional view of how to work with the chakras. Mm -hmm. A lot of times people learn sort of a historic or esoteric view or what color the chakras are. And, and for me, none of that's important. What I want you to know is how do you use them, right? Your chakras are not decorations. 
Your chakras are part of, they're tools that you can use, they're part of your energy body. And so we work on uh, how do you uh, figure out what's in each chakra, what's the purpose of it. Just like you have organs in the body, your chakras are kind of like organs in your energy body. And then we go through a really fun exercise of if you want to manifest something, if you want to manifest um, really anything in any area of your life, how do you consciously do that using the chakras? This is why I mean that they're tools. So this, this is really fun and it's really powerful. That's fantastic. Now in chapter six, you talk about getting along with others, clearing your filters, reputation, and hot buttons. Tell us about that. Yeah, so chapter six is, uh, we're getting pretty deep now because you're, uh, you're getting a lot of experience. You've been out practicing in the world. And so we get at kind of the, the core issue that's with most people. And the core issue is really about your belief system. So how do you think the world works? What do you believe that you deserve? What do you think your partner thinks about you? What do you, uh, you know, what are the rules of the world? And so in this chapter, we go in and we start to peel those away. There's a specific place in your energy field where you can find those. And so I teach you how to see that, how to go in and change it, and how to put new beliefs in. And so we just strip all those away. And that's why I say hot buttons, because yeah. most of the places where, you know, if you just kind of blow and go off about something, and get upset, it's because there's a little trigger inside you. And so we teach you how to like, how to find that, take it away. and Because our beliefs affect our energy and our energy affects our world. Yes. So you're teaching people how to heal their beliefs, even if yes. these beliefs came from stuff that happened, you know, when mm -hmm. we were seven years old. Yeah. yeah. Now, in chapter seven, you go into intuition and synchronicity, using your intuition to flow with synchronicity mm -hmm. and abundance. Yeah. So uh, chapter seven is really fun, too, because there what we're doing is saying, OK, how do we put all this energy work together and then start to use it to receive more clear guidance? Like you were asking me, how do I how do I get information? I say, oh well, just you know, I hear voices, I see colors, I feel it. You know, for me, it's this full spectrum experience. But for a lot of people, they say, okay, I'm not I'm not quite at that level. I'm not quite getting that yet. So in chapter seven, we look at what techniques can you use to bring that into you. And in particular, I, I look at where are the places where you're already using your intuition that you don't know. Maybe where you're calling it your mind, or you're calling it something else, and help you to see that you're way more intuitive than you think you are. So this chapter really opens that up. And again, once your intuition's on, the synchronicities are just uh, abundant. It's, I have so many stories that seem impossible to believe. If I hadn't lived my life, I wouldn't believe my life. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Now chapter eight is about expanding your awareness, connecting with your spirit guides mm -hmm. and higher self. Yes. Now that is one of the most advanced level techniques mm -hmm. that you're teaching in chapter eight. And it's amazing that you're getting people there already in week eight. Yeah, what and, happens there? Yeah, so week eight, um, you know, we're talking about energy work, and I said I, I tried to make it the most applicable and functional program so you can really apply it to your life. But there's a huge spiritual quality that's in it too. And so by the time you've gotten through the program, you've got to this point, you're starting to notice that, wow, I'm a lot more than just my body. I'm this energy too, and it's time to explore that a little bit deeper. So in chapter eight, we start saying, okay, where is that other part of you that's not in your body? How do you connect with that part of you? There's actually much more of you outside your body than in your body. We tend to think that our spirit is in our body. That's actually not correct. Your body is in your spirit, right? And so you start to play with that and say, well, what about the rest of me that's outside this body? How do I connect with it? How do I communicate with, with me? And also we work with spirit guides because a lot of people, it just depends on um, kind of your background and your beliefs and how you perceive the world, how you get communication from the outside. So some is inside, some's outside. So for many people, it's a spirit guide or an angel. Um, some people, it's uh, talking to my ancestors. Uh, it's just uh, that contextual way of um, something that's beyond me, some higher power, something with more information. And how do I tune in and communicate there? Because that's some, some it's serious fantastic information. Right. Yeah. But, but, I, but I believe it. I, I, I've come across these techniques across multiple books, multiple yeah. philosophies, and it's some, it's some pretty powerful stuff. Yeah. It's something that I, I apply in my life almost on a daily basis. Jeffrey, thank you so much for sharing with yeah. us Duality. Duality, as I said, is one of the most remarkable programs in the Mind Valley. And really, if you're looking to expand that part of you that our current society, our current education model suppressed for so long, which is your spirituality, this is a program for you. Duality fundamentally changes the way you function in the world. It affects every aspect of your mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. It's like certainly discovering this, this powerful new tool that you have, this sixth or the seventh sense, 
And imagine, you know, living life without your sense of hearing or your sense of sight or your sense of, of taste. And all of a sudden, that sense appearing in your life, how much more magical and powerful would you be uh, as a human being in this world? And that really is what duality is about. It's a robust program. I'm, I'm not going to say it's easy because you're learning some pretty advanced techniques. Yeah. It takes some practice. As you go through these hour-long lessons, it's about eight hours of content, you need to practice this. But it's just a few minutes every day. But it's so much fun. As we said earlier, you apply a tool and then you literally watch your interactions with people. You watch synchronicities appear. Things shift. And uh, as a thank you for joining us in this masterclass, you can enroll in duality with a special discount only available on this page. If in any way this isn't for you, you get a full refund. Every program you buy in Lion Valley, we want you to be happy. And so we give you the opportunity to return it if it doesn't meet your highest expectations. But I know duality will because I've seen the reviews and I've seen the ratings. Yeah, and Vishen, I want to say one more thing about that. And that's that even though there's a lot of material in this program and there's a lot to get through, it's actually, you'll find yourself being pulled through the program. In fact, in the Facebook group, there's so many people that have taken the program two times, three times. I saw a person have gone through five times through the duality training. And the amazing thing they said is that every time they went through the program, they found something new. And I say it's amazing, but actually that's how I designed the program. There's layers of information to make it easy for you to go through. So the first time through, you can get stuff that's very valuable and keep continue growing and moving. But the next time you go through, there's a next piece, another layer, another layer. And so it's a program that you can use kind of over and over. Right. It's, yeah, it's, it's amazing. Really People go through this program sometimes five times yeah. because you're right. There's so much, there, there's so many nuances mm -hmm. in it. And I find that the, as I read different spiritual books and I listen to you, I see different nuances in what you're saying. I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. what he just said reminds me of what I read in Conversations with God, book three, or that Abraham Hicks book. So it is beautiful. And, and, and that's why um, even though this course is a lot of information, mm -hmm. people absolutely love it. Just a second, guys. I know this is weird. I just jumped into my own masterclass, but I wanted to update you on a really cool innovation that we just released on Mind Valley, and it happened since I recorded that past episode. So what we find is that so many of our top students love the programs that they enroll in, that they enroll in a second program, and a third program, and a fourth program. Because the fact is, once you get on a Mind Valley quest, you get so hooked. What we are really good at is making learning as exciting as a computer game. When you wake up every day and you're spending your 10 to 20 minutes with your designated trainer and you feel your life shift, it creates such a remarkable feeling. But what happens when you finish that program? Well, people come back to Mind Valley and they enroll in the second and the third program, but that can get expensive. So we launched something called Mind Valley All Access. And what this means is that you get access to everything for less than $2 a day. So what does this look like? Well, firstly, you now have access to the top teachers and trainers in the world. And every new teacher coming onto Mind Valley is automatically added to your account. You take a fun self-assessment, which will help you view your life from a holistic perspective and know what to focus on. You then choose your adventure, the program that you want to take. And it's only five to 20 minutes a day because our teachers are so effective. Every day, you are developing new skills, new attitudes, new mindsets, new beliefs. And at the end of each month, you've up-leveled. Maybe you're now reading three times as fast, or your health is completely transformed, or you've improved your spiritual abilities for energy healing or manifesting. So many people forget that the number one thing that we need to do in life to achieve all our wildest dreams, to have career success, to give back to our family and the world, is to focus on becoming the best you you can be. And this means investing in your personal growth. Think about what that will do for your life and the lives of everyone you touch. Scroll down below and enroll in Mind Valley All Access. All our programs are going to be open and available to you. So you get to choose your own adventure. So thank you guys for joining us. Thank you, Jeffrey. Yeah, thank you, Vision. Um, if you want to know more about duality, there's a whole list of stories from happy students who have taken the course on this page. Thank you, guys. Duality helped me to get more in touch with my own energy and also my own intuition and to get more in touch with my heart versus just being in my head.
Jeffrey's duality program really helped accelerate my ability to heal. I, I just remember the excitement of finding a teacher and I, right there I knew I'm gonna, I want to work with Jeffrey. It really helped um, give me tools. That's what I was kind of looking for was real concrete and practical tools. Um, it, it really changed my life. I finally understood myself. The levels that you introduce are just so great for the beginner, um, the person who's already been introduced to some energy healing. It's opened me up to be ready for anything that comes along. It taught me how to understand my own energy, how to understand what's within me, how to how to navigate around that, how to set, how to clear energy within myself. Believe me, from where I've been to where I'm at now, uh, it's a world of laughter and just peace within myself.